In this video, we're going to look at long multiplication. Now, the easiest way to teach you how to do this is just to run you through a few examples. Now, let's say that you're asked to multiply 23 by 45. Now, I'm going to make use of different colours and you'll see why in a wee minute when we write 45. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the 23 and you're going to multiply it by 5. Okay? So, 5 threes are 15. So we write the 5, carry the 1. 5 twos are 10, add the 1, you get 11. Now, this 4 here is actually in the tens column. So it represents 40. So what we're doing is we're multiplying by 40. So because we're multiplying by 40, we add a 0 here to show we've multiplied by 10 first, and then we multiply by 4. So 4 threes are 12, by the 2, carry the 1. 4 twos are 8, add the 1, you get 9. And then finish it off by adding your two lines of working, and you'll get your answer, which is 5 add 0 is 5, 1 add 2 is 3, 1 add 9 is 10. Okay, that's all you have to do. One thing to notice is be very careful when you're carrying numbers, you don't get mixed up. It's all very well for me using different colours, but when you're using the same pen or the same pencil, just be on your guard. Let's look at another example. Let's do 56, and we'll multiply by 23. Now, again, using colours, what I'll do is I'll write 23 using red and blue again. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we will multiply the 56 by the 3. 3 6s, 18, then 3 5s, 15, add the 1, 16. Again, because our 2 is in the tens column, we'll write 0, and then we can set about multiplying the 56 by the 2. 2 6s are 12, 2 5s are 10, add the 1, 11. Now we're ready to add our answers up together, our two lines of working up together, to get our final answer. 8 add 0 is 8, 6 add 2, 8, 1 add 1 is 2, 1, and nothing is 1. So that's your final answer for that question. Let's do one more. This time on the top we'll write a three-digit number. Let's go for 4, 5, 6, and we'll multiply by 78. 7 in red, 8 in blue. Okay? Now, let's multiply first of all by the 8. 8 6s are 48. Write the 8, carry the 4. 8 5s, 40. Add the 4, 44. 8 4s, 32. Add the 4, 36. We'll write a 0 to show that our 7 here represents 70. So 7 6s, 42, 7 5s, 35, add the 4 is 39, and 7 4s, 28, add the 3, you get 31. Now keep your units, tens, hundreds, thousands, keep everything in line in case you end up making a mistake. And now we're ready to add everything up and we'll get our final answer. So 8 add 0 is 8. 4 add 2 is 6, 6 add 9 is 15, by the 5, carry the 1, 3 add 1 add 1 is 5, 3 add 0 is 3. So your answer, 335,568. Okay? Now, you may well be asked to multiply a three-digit number by a three-digit number, or you may even be asked to multiply a bigger number by a three-digit number. So let's have a look if we call this question D. Let's have a look at multiplying 762 by 453. Okay, now, what I'm going to do actually is instead of writing it in black, as I've been doing, we'll choose three different colors and we'll say 453. Okay, so again, using the colors, 3 twos, 6, 3 6s, 18, 3 7s, 21, add the 2, add the 1, sorry, you get 22. 
Now the 5 represents 50, so you add a 0. Then you're ready to multiply by 5. 5 twos are 10. 5 sixes are 30. Add the 1, 31. 5 sevens, 35. Add the 3, 38. Okay? Now, the 5 represented 5 tens. The 4 represents 4 hundreds. So because we're in the hundreds column, for the next line we add two zeros. And again, multiplying everything by 4, 4 twos are 8. I'll use my color. 4 twos are 8. 4 sixes, 24. Why the 4? Carry the 2. 4 sevens, <coughs> 28. Add the 2, you get 30. And now that we've got our three lines, we're ready to add them all up. And we'll get our final answer. 6 adds 0 adds 0 is 6. 8 adds 0 adds 0 is 8. 2 add 1 add 8 is 11. Uh, 8 and 4, 12. Add the other 2. 14 add the 1, 15. 3 and 1, 4. 3 and nothing, 3. So we get our answer of 345,168. Okay. Now, I'm going to put up three questions for yourselves to do. So... Once I write them up, you may wish to pause the video, attempt them yourself, and then you can uh, check your answers and see how you get on. So we'll say 78 times 29. Okay, we'll say uh, 72 times 45, maybe 172 times 45 actually. And then we'll say, we'll go for a big one, we'll say 402, and we'll multiply that by 367. Okay, so pause the video, try these yourselves, and then compare your answers and see how you get on. Right, so let's run through them. 9 eighths, 72. 9 sevenths, 63. Add the 7, you get 70. Write the 0, 2 eighths, 16, 2 sevenths, 14, add the 1, 15. Adding up, there are two lines of working. We end up with 2 add 0 is 2, 6 add 0 is 6, 7 add 5 is 12, 1 and 1, 2. There's your answer, 2, 2, 6, 2. Let's try this one. 5 twos are 10, 5 sevenths, 35, add the 1, is 36 and 5 ones are 5 add the 3 8 writing your 0 because the 4 represents 4 tens 4 twos are 8 4 sevens are 28 and 4 ones are 4 add the 2 6 adding it all up to get our final answer we find we get 0 this gives us 14, this gives us 17, and this gives us 7. So we end up with a final answer of 7,740. And as for this one, 7 twos, 14, 7 zeros are 0, add the 1 is uh, 1, 7 fours then, we get 28. 6 represents 60, so uh, we add a 0. 6 twos, 12. Uh, six zeros are zero, add the one, one, six fours, 24. Now the three represents 300, so we'll add two zeros, and then three twos are six, three zeros are zero, three fours are 12. So be careful that you're, you've got everything in line. And add it all up, four, add zero, add zero is four, one add two, add zero is three, eight add one, add six, that's going to be 15. Write the 5, carry the 1. 2, 4, and 1, that makes 7. 2, 2, that makes, oops, that makes 4. So 2 add 2 is 4. 1 add nothing is 1. So we end up with an answer of 147,534. So that's long multiplication. That's the idea. That's what you do. Um, if you're multiplying, uh, remember to add your zeros. If you're multiplying by a three-digit number, Make sure you add 
two zeros in your third row. If you were multiplying by four, a four-digit number, you would end up with multiplying by the something in the thousands column. So your next row here would have three zeros. So the pattern just continues on for uh, whichever number uh, you're using. It doesn't matter how big it might end up being. So I hope that was of help. And uh, remember, practice makes perfect.